Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the Crusader Mark III El Alamein from Italeri in 1 to 35 scale. I hope you enjoy. Let's begin with the sprue containing the main parts of the tank. The surface is nicely detailed with a lot of rivets. The quality looks good and I have not seen any major flaws. A surface like this can work really well with a pin wash later on. The same can be said for the turret. Here there are even some weld lines added. The lower hull comes in one piece and has almost no details. But that is to be expected since these parts will be covered up later regardless. The wheels and plenty of smaller parts can be found on the next sprue. The road wheels have sharp details and only a small seam line. It is easier to put the wheels together and half your workload by sending two parts at the same time. The remaining details contain a lot of handles, hooks and parts for the suspension. The kit doesn't allow any movable suspension parts unless you modify them yourself. There is no photo etched included, but the plastic parts look detailed enough to get a good result without any aftermarket parts. These are the side skirts. Because they are already quite thin, you probably don't need to replace them with photo etched parts to make them look realistic. The main gun is made from two halves. As you can see, the simplified gun breech is already attached to the barrel. The barrel is hollow, but you will still need to be precise and do some cleanup for a good looking result. The kit sells for around 30 euro right now and is part of Italeri's Africa series El Alamein. I already reviewed the Panzer IV El Alamein on this channel. The included tracks are made from rubber. They look alright and are what you would expect from a kit in this price range. With the tank parts finished, we can take a look at the figures. The kit has a total of 9 figures included, but sadly there is a catch I will get to later. The figures look mediocre. All of them are in a relaxed pose, with most of them standing and holding something in their hands. Their facial expressions aren't that great and the level of detail is basic and feels a little bit flat at some points. But you also get a few accessories. For some reason you also get a German MG42 it seems. The only explanation I could find for this was a single picture of a British soldier using a captured MG42. This sprue has the remaining three figures. Let's take a closer look at them and maybe you can already see what is going on. Yep, that's right. The three figures on this sprue are exactly the same as on this sprue before. This was a real letdown, but they are exactly the same figures with exactly the same accessories. They even only show six figures on the box Kind of a cheap trick to make the kit look better. These are the poses. The three figures included twice are all standing up and then you have some soldiers sitting at the table and repairing the machine gun. But enough for the figures, the decals look good and offer you three different marking options for two camo schemes. You have a coloring guide for this two-tone camo version A and two for the single color variants B and C. And that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and let me know what you think about the double figures in the comments. Thanks for watching, have a nice week and see you next time.